Greetings, Ben Murray here with another edition of SaaS Metro School. Today, talking pricing. So received an interesting email in my inbox this morning about SaaS inflation. And this report came from Virtus.1 around SaaS inflation and price increases. So I had to check that out. And it's really interesting. And the headline, of course, on this episode is 73% of your SaaS peers raised their prices in 2023, which is really interesting. So this fits nicely with a question I received from a coaching client about increasing prices. So a couple topics to address here. First, let's look at the data from this Virtus report. Uh, interesting, 2023, according to their study, 73% of SaaS vendors increased their prices in 2023. In 2022, it was 74%. In 2021, it was 56%. So that kind of makes sense with the pandemic. So really increase, really interesting to see how many SaaS companies, according to this report, are increasing their pricing every year. And the next stat from this report was what was that average price increase? So it said among those that did raise prices in 2023, the average price increase was 12%. So that's really interesting. This just to give you a flavor for where software companies are or how much software companies are increasing their pricing year over year, according to the Virtus report. So the question from my coaching client was around price increases. So this all fits together nicely, just the number of companies that are increasing their prices, what's the average price increase, and then the mechanics of how do we implement a price increase with our SaaS company. So First thing we have to look at is, do we have a master services or subscription agreement that governs our pricing, how we interact with our customers as far as you know, late payments, et cetera, IP protection, all that great stuff, all those, all those that the legalese that we find in the in the MSA, you know, indemnification, all that great stuff. So usually in our MSA, we have language around when customers need to know, notify us for cancellation. And again, MSA is more geared towards those higher ACV companies where we're signing contracts with our customers. And usually we have cancellation language in there. And usually we have price increase language in there that says something like at the end of the contract, you know, we'll, we'll charge, you know, the then current prices or something like that. You know, so we have language in our MSA that governs that, that allows us you could say kind of legally, mechanically through our contract to raise prices when that customer goes out of contract. So they have an annual contract and they didn't cancel. So we're sending out that next invoice and maybe we add a price increase to that. Or they have a multi-year contract, say a three-year contract, and they're not canceling and we didn't sign, say, another multi-year contract. So we're just going to kick out year four invoice to them, maybe with some price increase. And that's governed through our MSA. So the coaching client asked me, well, take a look at this language. Do you think it's okay that we start increasing our prices? And looking at it, they did have some language in there. They had cancellation language in there, but they had what I'd call very weak and ambiguous evergreen price increase language that says we can increase prices like at a reasonable price amount. Now, reasonable is very ambiguous. Maybe to me as the customer, 3% is reasonable. Maybe to the company, 15% is reasonable. So we have to have very defined language in our contracts that lets us legally and mechanically increases, increase our prices appropriately, that we are following our own contract to increase prices. Now, if you're self-service and low price point, high volume, and they don't sign an MSA, they just agree to terms and conditions, again, make sure we don't conflict with anything that's, that's stated in our terms and conditions, we don't want to go against our own contract when trying to implement price increases with our customers. So today, talking a little bit about those stats, 73% of SaaS vendors increasing their prices, the average, about 12% of those that did increase, and then make sure you follow your terms and conditions, make sure you follow your MSA. The last thing we want to do is not follow our own MSA in terms and conditions with our customers when implementing price increases. So a little bit about price increases and some stats around it today. Hope you enjoyed it.